so you're interested in taking IB Bio next year. Let me tell you just a little bit more about the class to help you decide. First of all, IB Bio is an HL class for the IB program. That means that it is a two-year class. So if you sign up for the class, you'll be signing up for it during your junior and your senior year, and you're expected to take both years in order to complete the curriculum. So what is IB Bio? As I've just said, it's a two-year college-level biology course where we learn similar concepts to what you would be learning in a first-year course in a college biology class. It's inquiry and lab-based, it's fast-paced and challenging, and I think that former students would tell you that it's also really fun because we do do so much hands-on and so much lab-based inquiry in the class. What do we cover? We cover all the basics of a college-level introductory biology class. That includes evolution, structure and function, genetics, ecology, biotech, which is one of our favorite topics, um, cell biology, biochemistry, which is all the molecules of biology. We cover DNA and how that functions. And we learn a lot about microbiology, bacteria, and cells. So what is the prerequisite for the class? In order to be successful in IB Bio, we recommend that you have successful completion of chemistry. This class actually uses a lot of chemistry and a lot of chemistry concepts, and so it's important that you have a basic understanding of chemistry and the way that molecules work and chemical reactions function in order to be able to understand the content that's taught in IB Bio. How about course credit? How does IB Bio count? So let's talk about IB Bio in a couple of different contexts. So first of all, as far as A to G credit um, for college entrance, this will count as two years of a D life science for the UCs and CSUs. So you can see here that D are the laboratory sciences, and this will count as two years of the two required, three recommended. If you, are, um, if you are planning to do the IB Diploma, this will count as one of your two-year HL classes, and it also will count as your science credit for Group 4 towards the IB Diploma program. In addition to all of this, it also counts as credit towards graduation for two years of a science course. How about grades? How is the class graded? So grades in this class are based on a number of different things. Um, for the most part, the grades include topic tests, midterms, which we do in the middle of every semester, final exams, which are th at the end of every semester, and also lab reports. The grade breakdown and weighting is based on a similar weighting to what is done in the IB test itself, which takes place at the end of year two in the class. So everything about this class is designed to mimic and to prepare you for the IB test that occurs at the end of the course. Speaking of the IB exams, let's talk just a little bit more about those. Because this is a two-year course, the exams don't happen until the end of year two. The um, IB score is based on two different things. One thing which is called the external assessments, which are what happen at the end of year two in May. And the other thing is called the internal assessment. So let's talk about both of these separately. So the external assessment for IB Biology is three papers. Paper is the word that IB Biology uses for exams. So this really just means three exams. One of those exams is a multiple choice test. One of them is free, or, and the other two are free response that include database questions. That means that they give you data and you would be using the data to try to understand what's happening. And then some of it is just free response where they're just straight up asking you to explain and describe different concepts that you've learned in the class. How about the internal assessment? In science, the internal assessment for IB is a scientific investigation that you write on your own and you then write up a professional style report. Most IAs end up be being between 10 to 12 pages of a written lab report. Um, the scientific investigation is a question that you ask yourself, you design the experiment, you run the experiment, you collect the data, you run the data analysis, and then you come to a conclusion. 
throughout the class, we do a lot of work with experiments and how to do all of these different steps so that by the time that you do your internal assessment in year two, you're ready and prepared to write up this report and to run this experiment. What about summer assignments? Um, in this class, there are no required summer assignments. Coming into year one, there is nothing that you're asked to do before the class starts. However, um, going between year one and year two, we offer the opportunity for students to work on their IAs to try to get ahead. So at the end of year one, you will be choosing your question and you'll be running some test runs of your IA. And then during the summer, between year one and year two, if you would like to run your IA and get ahead, you're welcome to do that. Otherwise, there is also time at the beginning of year two to be working on your IA. So there is no required summer assignment, but there is recommended that you work towards your IA in the summer between year one and year two. So what are the expectations if you were to take on this course? First and most important to be successful in this class is to have a can-do attitude. This class is hard, and all students who take this will tell you that. But the best way to get through it is to have a can-do attitude and to realize that you can do this, even if there are setbacks, even if there are unexpected things that happen within the class. So, But you are capable, and you can do this. Another expectation is that you are ready and prepared to spend between four to six hours per week studying and completing homework outside of the class time. Um, I get this number from actually talking to my own students in IB Bio, and this is about what they tell me they spend on this class outside of class time. It's also extremely important in this class that you're open to helping each other and working together and coming for help as often as you need to. The students who have been the most successful in IB Bio are the students who have embraced all three of these expectations. But that's enough of hearing from me. Let's hear from a student now about what this course is like. Oh hey, I'm Lexi. I'm a senior and I'm in IB Bio and I'm going to tell you guys why you should sign up for next semester. This class includes a lot of college prep, um, such as learning a lot of information at a really fast rate. And like college, it definitely is challenging. Don't let that scare you, though, because unlike standard classes, IB Bio is filled with interactive and engaging experiments, and labs are all about you. I've watched bacteria grow, I've seen my own DNA, and I've also designed my very own experiment for this class. So if you like learning about biotech, evolution, cell structure, ecology, climate change, or human and plant physiology, and much, much more, you should definitely sign up for this class. So if you like science or you want to do science in the future, you should definitely take this class. Or maybe if you're not a science person, you'll still definitely have fun in IB Bio. For me personally, I find myself not so much a science person, but I really enjoy this class and I really enjoy all the interesting topics that I've gotten to learn over the past two years. Register for IB Bio. Still got questions? Contact one of the IB Biology teachers. That's either me, Mrs. Lucas, or Mr. Bauer. We hope to see you next year in IB Bio.